Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum. We're gonna be looking at logarithmic regression. The reason why we're doing an update is because we've moved up a regression line since the last one. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And also, please check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below, as well as the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. So let's go ahead and jump in. So. The last time, you know, we made a video dedicated to the Ethereum uh, regression lines, right? Which again, by themselves are uh, meaningless. I mean, they're just a way to to show, you know, price trends over a long period of time. But we were we were at this orange band, right? We were we were between the green and orange uh, regression lines, and and hoping for a continued move up as Bitcoin broke through the twenty week moving average. Uh, and we expected Ethereum to keep climbing, and that's exactly what's been, been happening over the last several months. If we update it, you can see that this is what has happened. The reason why the rest of the graph changes is because I just I changed the, the, the font size of the axes, but you can see that it, it's moved up a regression line, and it's kind of stalled here, right, at the yellow regression line, which you can see back in 2020, uh, earlier in 2020, is where we came up to, right, before falling back down. Uh, now you might wonder. You say, you say, well, you know, the price of ether is higher now than it was back then. So why is you know this corresponding to the top of the regression line, even though the price is much higher? Well, we know, right, that the logarithmic regression lines monotonically increase, and and part of the reason for that, right, is or you know part of the idea that they just monotonically go up is the idea that if you fit the Ethereum quote unquote non bubble price data to a regression curve, this is what you get. Um, and then if you if you take kind of this middle line here as our fair value for Ethereum, then our fair value is moving up monotonically. But the price of Ethereum can do whatever whatever it really wants to. Of course, we, we go up below the fair value, above the fair value, um, and so on and so forth. So all we're trying to do is, is depict that over time, the, you know, we know that the fair value of Ether is going up based on historical data. Obviously, this could change in the future, but given the information we have now, we know the fair value is theoretically moving up. And if the fair value is theoretically moving up, then the regression bands you know, that kind of measure where it is in the market cycle would also need to move up. Uh, so despite the fact that we are you know, at the top of the same regression line, the price from earlier in 2020 only reached around uh, just under $300. It was like 285 or so. Now we're up to $400, but again, at the top of the same regression band. You can see in 2019, we made it to the top of the purple one. Now, if we were to go to the next level, like basically go up a regression band, we know that the risk on Ether would be increasing. If you guys follow the risk metric, of course. Uh, but if we were to go there in the short term, we're talking about a, you know an approximate six hundred and fifty dollar ether uh, if we were to, to to traverse our way up to the next regression band. Now we've looked at the Bitcoin regression bands before, and we've had several market cycles, so we know we expect right that we're going to drop down several regression bands from each peak. So you know if if we expect the peak to be in twenty twenty three, we can't just say oh well that means you know the price of ether is going to be like seventy thousand dollars. Uh, this would be completely ludicrous. Completely ludicrous. Uh, if we, you know, by looking at what Bitcoin did, which I don't actually have the chart on this presentation, but we, by looking at what Bitcoin did, we know we're probably going to drop down several regression lines from each market cycle. So what I would expect, right, is for the peak to be somewhere between, say, this blue and red regression line over here. This is what I would ultimately expect out in a few years. Now, if we take a look at the current peak, and compare it to the last one that we had in 2019, that blow off top, we can see in the same way as before, the price is higher now for Ether than it was back in 2019 at this peak. However, this peak corresponded to the purple regression line, and this one corresponded to the yellow one. So again, it goes back to the whole, you know, to the to the you know mentality that the fair value is increasing. So despite the fact that the price is higher, we're further on in time, and as time goes on, we would expect the you know the we, we expect the fair value of ether to continue increasing. Um, so if we're able to you know experience a move to the regression band that we went to in 2019, then it would correspond to an approximate $650 ether. Um, and and I'm just going to draw I'm just drawing the horizontal line here so that you can see okay the price 
is certainly higher than it was back here, even though the regression band is lower, uh, or we're one regression band lower. Now, if we if we draw in, say, uh, maybe a short-term speculative bubble for Ether going into the next few months, and we, we top out at, say, the regression line that you see here, the purple regression line, if this happens, again, approximately a 650 Ether plus or minus 100 bucks, what's a few bucks among friends. Uh, and then if we can get ever so lucky, maybe we will see a retracement if this were to occur to give us a timely uh, December buy. And if you follow the channel, we've, we've showed many videos before about how literally every single December since Ethereum has been around, it has presented a very timely buy opportunity, uh, oftentimes against USD, but primarily against Bitcoin. And, and even every single year, if you go look, there's a, a really good time to buy in December and then every first quarter of the year, you're experiencing a pretty significant ROI. We projected or we predicted this to happen back in, you know, for in 2019 and it did. We saw this move down, right? We made a video here saying Ethereum against Bitcoin and Ether against USD is extremely undervalued. Uh, and that if we if we just look back at every other year, we would expect a you know a several X ROI in the first quarter. We saw that. Of course, we did come back down, but it does not discount the fact that the same trend held up. So what I'm looking for essentially, right, is I mean, of course, we might not go into into bubble mode uh, or into further bubble mode for Ethereum right now. We could just cool off a little bit. But what I'm looking for, right, is to see Ether continue its trajectory into this maybe mini bubble in a sense uh, and hopefully give us another another opportunity for a key uh, December buy in late 2020 to maybe see a to realize a, a nice short-term profit in early 2021. So this is what I'm looking for. If we if we kind of extend this out, you know, I, I, I just kind of randomly drew a line. I don't really think that Ether is going to go past 10K. In fact, I think it's more likely to top out less than 10K. Uh, but I just drew a few lines. To, it, I was mainly focusing on the short term here, um, and, and then saying, well, if we if we're if we're able to tra to traverse two logarithmic regression lines in the short term, then we would actually be looking at uh, approximately a thousand ether if that were to happen. Uh, so again, I, I want people to stay level headed. You know, if you if you see this happen, if you see this play out, remember that you know profit taking is is generally a good idea. This is not financial advice, of course. Uh, if you if your risk tolerance tells you that you want to hold ether for for 10 years no matter what then go for it right I mean you do what you want to do uh, for me personally though you know when when we see these bubbles form I like to systematically take profits because you know we don't we, we can't say for sure right if it's going to continue to go up what we can say for sure is that if I take profits when ether is this value or you know a certain valuation much higher than my ROI, at least I'm securing profits. And there's always a trade tomorrow, right? There's always a trade down the road in the sense, um, a key time, a momentum shift in the market. So my, my theory, right, is, is, is take the profits to give yourself a chance to continue fighting another day. Um, don't, don't just watch bubbles form and then just come back down. This is, this is the key argument of the channel. Of course, many of you might say, well, if you think there's a, if you think we're we're seeing a an eight to nine thousand dollar ether on the cards over the next several years, like why would you sell any? Well, again, there's no such thing as a sure thing. We don't know what's going to happen, and on the off chance that we do see a bubble, you know, I'll take profits, and and then on the off chance that we come back down, then I'll reinvest, right? And then you have more ether going forward, um, and then on the chance that you don't uh, retrace and you just continue going on up you just continue to take more profits based on a dynamic dca risk schedule that i talk about on the premium list um so you know if again before i get to the end of the video remember we do have the premium list at into the cryptoverse.com if you want access to it you can check out the website the premium list into the cryptoverse.com you get access to six different things, right? And we've, we've said it before, the prices are gonna be going up. So if you wanna get grandfathered in at the lower prices, make sure you sign up uh, sometime in the next few weeks because once they go up, you will no longer be able to get grandfathered in at the lower prices. So um, you get access to a lot of different things. If you want access to say premium content for this market cycle, I would encourage you to sign up before the prices go up. Uh, the things you get access to are a premium alerts channel telling you kind of like my candid thoughts on the market, what I see happening. Um, kind of like what I'm doing and, and how I'm using the risk dashboard, which is another perk of the premium list to, to time these momentum shifts in the market, not just Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, Link, ADA, several others as well. 
You also get access to a private Telegram chat room. So if you're if you're kind of just fed up, right, with a lot of the public chat rooms and there's just a lot of noise, there is a private uh, chat room just for the premium list. So it's a kind of a place that you can uh, be a little bit more serious in. And I mean, because this is a serious thing, right? I mean, I think a lot of people, a lot of people on YouTube, you know, try to make it more of like this, you know, all this, it's just fun and games, right? And, and let's just say that every coin's going to go up 100x constantly. Uh, but realistically speaking, like, it's just nonsense, right? I mean, most of it is just complete um, and utter nonsense to, to, to see those uh, types of constant predictions, right? So, uh, you know, what we want to, you know, the, the purpose of this channel is to is to bring it back down to earth and to say, you know what, we're, we're really talking about serious money, like, right, like life-changing money. You don't just want to be throwing your money at random altcoins uh, forever because, yeah, you might get lucky at, at certain points. But one of the things I can guarantee you with some of these micro caps is that a lot of them are going to zero. Um, and, and so if you get overexposed in them, if you, if you did make a good investment and it worked out, just a reminder that even if it's, no matter, no matter what it is, like profit taking is, is something that should not be taken lightly. Uh, so just consider it. In addition to those, you get access to a risk dashboard or a, a Google Street strategy dashboard, which will give you ideas of how you can dynamically DCA out of the market. You could put in how much you have, or you can just make up a number. It's all anonymous, of course. Put in your projected peak for Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then it'll ta tell you how various strategies would play out. Um, and then the other two things you get are a weekly premium video and a weekly premium report. And again, I know there's already a lot of premium features, but as we continue on marching through the market cycle, there's going to be more premium stuff and less public stuff. So, and again, you can pay with crypto uh, and get a nice 15% discount if you pay for, for 12 months. Um, of course, you, you can just pay monthly with fiat if you would prefer. Uh, so let's just get to the, the end of the video here. Uh, the, last, the last thing I wanted to show generally is just you know, this is the basic trend that I see, right? This is the basic trend that I see playing out over the market cycle. You know, sometimes we're gonna be above it, sometimes we're gonna be below it, right? And currently we're below it. So if we see short-term bubbles go above it, it doesn't mean anything's changed. We're just on course, business as usual, right? And and once we do get up to, you know, once we're getting into five figures, once Ether is maybe a few thousand bucks, there's going to be a lot of people saying, okay, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, uh, this is the dumb money talking, right? And you need to wake yourself up, maybe take a cold shower if you get sucked into it. And remember that, uh, you know, when something goes up that much, it will likely retrace and retrace hard uh, and, and experience a, a several year bear market where it's just really frustrating to be in crypto. So we just want to stay level headed again, right? And say, okay, we, we recognize that maybe right now things are bullish and as long as they're bullish, you know, business as usual. But right, when, when if we do see a huge speculative bubble blow off top, uh, remember how you may have felt in 2018 and, and you want to avoid that, right? You don't want to get sucked into the same trap of listening to everyone, you know, every influencer out there saying that it's going to continue to go up and up and up and and that you know if you're buying ether at 10,000 then you're going to get a you're going to see a 10x as it goes to 100k right this is just complete and utter nonsense so um, stay focused stay resolute on your decision making right you know come up with a plan as i've often said it's it's kind of hard to come up with a plan right when when ether is already up like 4 or 5x over the last few months uh, but in general it's still a time where i think you can come up with a plan Make sure you stick to it if things do get out of control, right? So that then your future self will thank you for staying diligent, um, and or as I should say, staying disciplined when it mattered the most, okay? We're talking about life-changing money for a lot of people. So take it seriously, um, and I, I think you'll, you'll do a lot better than if you just kind of uh, treat it more or less as the house's money. So that'll wrap it up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you like the content please give the video a thumbs up. That It really does help in the algorithm, so please do like the video. Also, make sure you check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. And then also make sure you check out the premium list if you want access to exclusive content. And remember, the prices are gonna be going up. So if you wanna be grandfathered in, grandfathered in at the lower price, uh, this would be, uh, you know, you would wanna sign up soon. And and by the way, this is what I use uh, to try to you know to try to fund what I'm doing right I don't I don't have all these like sponsors or anything like that right now so um, this let's try you know it's just my own my own way right to, to make it uh, where I can you know uh, communicate more information to people that are willing to support the channel 
uh, but also, of course, giving the people on the public channel uh, a lot of free content as well. So that'll wrap it up. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.